Well, welcome to Diamond Dialogue, the Chat Realm interview show where you can get to find out a little bit more about your fellow Chat Realmers. Uh, joining me on this episode is Taylor Karras. Hi, how's it going? It's going great. I had a lot of fun being on Stargate Talk the other day, so uh, I hope to, you know, I hope somebody else drops out on you so I can come back again sometime. Um, yeah. We'll get right in with the questioning oh. here. I'm sorry, go ahead. Or we can just include five participants. That can be good. That could be done. It might be a little tough to get words in, but it could work out. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we'll get right in with the questioning here. Uh, I already gave a little bit of a way by telling them who you are, but who the hell are you and how did you get here? Well, my name is Taylor Taris, and I was originally a person trying to get fame on the internet the wrong way. I was originally SU1A2 on DSL Extreme before it was turned into isc.crit.tv, 10 pound sign crit live. Basically, I'm the sort of person who was immature and stupid due to my autism. And in 2008, I was in Trit Live again, and then I left for about five years before I rejoined in 2013 as my real name. I was able to prove everybody that I wasn't the same person as before. And after Tom got fired, I I just uh, no, Tom left Trit. I discovered this chat realm, and here I am. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we're glad to have you here. You're always uh, always chatting a lot in the chat room, so. I suppose Thank that's you. what you would do I in the chat I try to contribute room. the best. <laughs> this is this is what I do to that recognize. I chat the most, I contribute the most, because that's how Padre SJ started out. And if I don't contribute the most, then basically I'm not anybody. Well, yeah, that's what, we are what we give back, right? <laughs> yeah, we are what we give back. So this one's pretty simple. Um, and you actually you explained a little bit what the origins of your chat handle were, because you had a different one, and you, and you changed your real name, so... Anything else to yeah. say about your, your chat handle of Taylor Karras? <laughs> no, that's it. My, my name is what was different to me. It may seem, my Taylor may seem Dallas, but I'm, I'm part female, so. <laughs> <laughs> I can see by the beard. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so here's an interesting one, and I know you're a big TV and movies fan. Uh, yeah. You get stranded on a desert island. You only get three movies for the end of time. What are those movies? I would have to say the original Stardate movie because that's an enjoyable one through, I don't know, the world of sci-fi, the world of adventure, the world of discovery. I would have to say a movie that, that explores humanity, that explores what we are, just in case I just so I don't forget who I am, and Babar the movie because I'm a big Babar fan. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, those are pretty good. I, I do like the original Stargate movie. Um, but to be honest, I like the series better. Uh, it was better done. the The original movie was so cheesy, like even more cheesy than the series. So, yeah, yeah, the series is more developed. But I, but but there's a still place in my heart for the original movie. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, excellent. Well, you've got you got you've thought these questions out or these answers out. I, <laughs> I I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just doing it on the spot. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it on the spot, Frank. The... Oh, that's good. So, all right, you're, the, this one I really like because it re requires explanation. You're given a superpower, or, or you, you gain a superpower. What is your superpower, and what's the first thing you do with it? Well, a superpower would be to connect with people, and I would instantly connect with Leo Laporte because I somehow have a special connection with him, and I don't know how to explain it, but I can't get him out of my mind. You know, I have to be in his mind. I have to be connected to him at any time. <laughs> that may sound obsessive, but I'm different with what I'm different. I'm born with what I'm born. Yeah, definitely. And so, and, and, and I guess to me, the first thing you would do is connect to Leo Port. That's, yeah. You know, that would yeah. be being an interesting guy to, to know, I guess, on a personal level. Because we all kind of know him on a professional level, like, because what he does is, yeah. is videos and stuff. But. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's fortunate that drama people are, you know, degrading his name by watching the chat room, by doing fat and poop jokes and trying to, uh, trying to destroy Trip, but. They're just reefers, you know? They're just trying to interfere with real life in order to get their laughs. And as a formal troll, I think that's bad because it's just going too far, you know? Yeah, definitely. And there's no... I mean, we all have our opinions, and, and certainly nobody is, is perfect. So to, to really rip yeah. on somebody for, for that kind of thing... I, I, wasn't, I wasn't perfect. I wasn't perfect. And that's why he wasn't perfect. But I managed to tell him, I managed to, like... That's some sort of recognition, Bat, and now I'm Taylor Towers. I'm not under any username except Zombies Fires from the Sea. I'm myself. I'm my own person. I, 
I control my destiny. I control my choices. I'm not bound by any fate choice that I made, Richard. Yeah, but <laughs> fuck it. No, oh, it's all right. Don't worry, man. So, uh, what games are you playing uh, lately? I've been playing Crisis since I got the Trapid Start because Crisis is an interesting game. It's an open world game. It allows me to do multiple strategies. Trapids look realistic, and it sort of got this sort of certain myth to it. Like, can you run Crisis on that PC? <laughs> yeah, the old the old crisis test. Oh, and my video just yeah. froze. All right. <laughs> uh, that's figures. Oh well, at least I'm smiling. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you sooner or later move... my video will freeze too. Yeah, right. If you can I'm move on a battery to... though. Oh yeah. If... Go ahead with the Treston. <laughs> no, it's all right. If you can move to any planet, you know, real or fictional, what would it be, and uh, what would your house look like? Well, basically, it would be a planet with lots of vegetation, lots of alien species that I can interact with, lots of curiosity. And my house would basically be postmodern, you know, with lots of squares, lots of toes, none of those orb stuff that you've seen in the 50s, just postmodern. Nice. That sounds, sounds like a nice place, like uh, like you'd live on Endor or something, but but in a, yeah. in a you know, super postmodern house. It's cool. Cool. So, uh, what's your favorite villain from Stargate? I know you're a big Stargate fan, so any, any of the series, and, and it can be a race or a single person, but who's your favorite villain? I have many villains. The Replicators, the Dwald, but yeah. my favorite individual enemy has to be Ball because he's just so real. He's just Tanets. He's dynamic as a Dwald. The R.I. suck because they're basically put in to be unbeatable, be a constant source of religion, and... The enemy that SG-1 is supposed to defeat at the end, because basically, even though they portray themselves as unbeatable, SG-1 destroys any enemy in their path. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and so, yeah, the the aura, I think, were brought because the ancients ended up being so helpful um, to, reluctantly, to SG-1. And so they, they wanted to give them kind of a, an opposite side, you know, they wanted to give them a... Yeah. Yeah, wanted something like that. Yeah, that's totally totally interesting. So, for for leaders of SG One, who do you prefer and and why? Jack O'Neill or uh, or Cameron? I would prefer Jack O'Neill because he was the original. He was the first. He was the funniest. He was basically the person who would you like to dare to drink with. You know, he knew how to do his stuff. He knew how to have fun, and he knew that it wasn't all serious. That there was a bunch of life up behind everything. Yeah, yeah, he's a he was an interesting guy <laughs> on the show and, and always funny. Um, Cameron's she's just a kind of like a, your average military leader guy, yeah. So, well, now we're gonna pit two different series against each other of Stargate. Um, in your in, in SG1, you have Teal'c, you know, the the Jaffa who's on the uh, who's on the um, the you know, SG1. And then in Atlantis, on the main team, you have uh, Ronan after the, I think he comes in in the second or third season, um, who's, who's kind of the sim, similar, you know, he, he's an alien, he's not from, from, he's not from Earth, so he's not like one of us necessarily, but he's also just so badass. So, <laughs> which one do you think is better, and, and maybe why? I like both of them equally because they provide their own perspective. Teal provides the alien perspective of a slave who has been freed and wants to provide the similar freedom to each people, while Ronin is just a person that was brought on because he he had a drift of background, he had a, a planet that was destroyed, he had interesting things to explore, and I hated it when they pitted to each other as if they were in a fight because it just, it was unnatural, you know, it was a forced suit everything up, have them be badass at the same time, and it was just totally unwatchable because that was it. That was just fan service, you know? Fan service right there. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll admit, I, I enjoyed the idea of it, but the way that it actually went down, I was like, eh, you know. When I heard they were going to have a fight scene, I was like, oh, you know, two can ruin and fight, and okay, that might be cool, but no, it didn't It didn't end up turning out that great. Uh, yeah. You know, plus, you know, Ronan was a runner, too, so he was... A bit of a slave like that. It, not really a slave, more like a, a pet, <laughs> you know, because he was a runner for, from the Wraith. That's how that's how they found totally. him. But, oh, very interesting. So uh, what else do you got to, to plug? What else are you doing around here that we can, you know, 
see more of what you do. Well, currently I do my top that podcast network, which features Simpsons Talk and Star Day Talk. I'm currently working on Day Nature version 2.0, where it can contain reviews, news, opinion pieces, transcripts, basically user friendliness all around. And I basically have my music career where I have two albums done. I'm just waiting for guest appearances to come through, and then I'll release them. First album is Hello, My Name is Taylor Tass, and my second one is Technology and Me, which will be based entirely on technology and feature a guest appearance by a sampled voice, Leo Laporte. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, that's uh, talknet.taylorcaris.com, right? No, talknet.taylorcaris.com, yep. Excellent. Well, thanks for joining me, Taylor Karras. Uh, and you guys can check out more answers to my dumb questions at uh, tinvec.com slash dd. There's a whole bunch of other guys er, and gals that, that we've, I've interviewed. There's links there to subscribe to RSS and, and iTunes. And I believe we'll let the music play us out. Thank you very much again, Taylor. I'll hang up now. <laughs> Got to groove out to the, the beat. Although you can't, nobody can see me dancing. <laughs>